I'm joined by Jim Wyatt. So that means it's time for Ask Jim. Jim, are you ready to answer some of these questions? I'm ready. All right, let's get started. The first one is from Gary. He says, how will the return of Jonathan Cyprian help the defensive backs overall? Well, it's going to help the rotation. I I'd be curious myself to see how he's worked in. I don't see him necessarily stepping in and playing a lot of snaps right out of the gate. I think what's interesting is Kevin Byard has played in 480 of 480 snaps in part because of Jonathan Cyprian's absence. I just wonder what the rotation looks like moving forward. He's going to play and he's going to help. Mark would like to know what Titans rookie are you most excited to emerge in the second half of the season? Well, another guy that's been out for an extended period of time, and that's Corey Davis. You know, we saw a, a little bit of him in the game against Oakland. He played well, six catches for 69 yards, and he injures a hamstring against Jacksonville. We haven't seen him since. He has the potential to change the offense, you know, up and down the field and in the red zone where it needs to help most. Andrew would like to know, do you think we will see any Titans defenders finish the season with double-digit sacks? Well, you know, Derek Morgan's the closest. He has four and a half sacks. Uh, you know, a couple other guys, Gerald Casey, Wesley Woodward with two. Brian Rackpo, I look for a big second half from him just at one and a half. So it's a chance within striking distance. The most important thing is the team needs to step it up from a total sack standpoint. 11 sacks after seven games. Pressure has been good. Just haven't been able to get the quarterback on the ground. I think that's one of the keys in the second half. Speaking of quarterbacks, Joshua would like to know, can fans expect to see Marcus Mariota back to 100% after having a week of rest? Well, that's the hope and the expectation. Uh, yeah. We have seen, you know, how much has he been? 70%, 80%, it's hard to know. I, I think these hamstrings take a while. He, he's definitely going to be better off than the last time we saw him against Cleveland. It's been a long time since he's been 100%. You have to go all the way back to the 1st of October when he got hurt in the first half in Houston, played through the injury for a couple weeks after missing one. He'll look more like himself, I think, starting on Sunday, but have to keep your fingers crossed moving forward that he doesn't have a setback. Steven would like to know, what is the number one adjustment or improvement you want to see in the Titans after the bye week? I think it's improvement in the red zone. I mean, a couple of areas stand out. I think red zone's got to improve. I think, I think third down offense has to improve. Starting faster has to improve. But I think the red zone is, you know, you look at this team last year, how well it did. This year, 31st in the league in the red zone. That area has to improve. You'd love to Ryan suck up making field goals, but you'd rather see him kick extra points. Amanda would like to know, it's homecoming week for the Tennessee Titans. What is it like having some of the old greats hanging out with the new Titans team? I think it's great because you're seeing them not only at the facility, you're seeing them at the stadium, you're seeing them drop by practices. I think the attitude, you know, of Amy Adams Strunk, Mike Malarkey, you know, John Robinson has been to embrace the past and let these guys come back in, see what you're doing, build a relationship with the players that are on the team now. I think it's healthy and I hope it continues moving forward. Jim Wyatt, always a pleasure. If you guys have questions for Jim, ask them using hashtag TitansTakes on Twitter. We'll get those answers for you right here on Titans All Access.